Okay. Um, there's something that's concerning me. And uh, I don't know where it's popped up from. Uh, but it seems to be a lot of videos going up on YouTube. Um, uh, and this is something that these the people are worried about. Well, I'm worried about it as well, but not for the same reasons. And uh, before I get into it, I'm just going to read a couple of scriptures. First one is that Hebrews 13, I'm reading from the um, proper name version of the King James Bible, not because I'm a King James own list, it's just a nice translation. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Yahushua the Messiah, the same yesterday and today and forever. Okay, did you get that? Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah, is the same yesterday, today and forever. He doesn't change, okay? Now, if you go to John chapter 1 and verse 14, and it says, talking about Yeshua, Jesus, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. He is the Word of God, okay? And he is also the same yesterday, today, and forever which means that the Word of God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, the thing that's worrying the, um, other people and me, but for very different reasons, as I said, is this whole load of rubbish about CERN, the facility in Geneva, just, at, um, in, just outside of Geneva in Switzerland, you know, the Large Hadron Collider where they're producing, the, creating portals and all that stuff, People are saying that CERN is manipulating the dimensions in our reality and causing our Bibles to be changed. Okay, right. The Word of God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change. Okay? Now, people are getting freaked out about this and showing all sorts of examples saying, oh, it's the Mandela effect and CERN's changing the realities and changing our Bibles. Rubbish. The one they go to is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 6. And they, they go, look, look, it's changed. It's changed. It now says, the wolf shall lie, dwell with the lion, lamb. No, it has always said, the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. It has never said, the lion shall um, shall lie down with the lamb. Never. I have seen antique versions of the King James Bible which state, and the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. Now, <laughs> you people who are getting freaked out about this and putting up these videos saying that, oh, 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 look everybody, Satan is managing to, through CERN to change our Bibles. He's altering scripture. Rubbish. You are giving Satan far, far, far too much credit. He is not that powerful. Now, I don't know which God you're supposedly serving. But if he is not the all-powerful creator, the creator of the universe and everything in it, then you're on the wrong page. You might as well stop reading your Bibles. No, throw them out the windows if they're that untrustworthy now. Forget it. If the God that you serve is really this nine pound, nine stone weakling that Satan is booting around the playground and going to have for lunch, then fine. Give up. If your God, the God that you serve, the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, really is the all-powerful creator of the universe, who is the same yesterday, today and forever, believe it! The only people who are changing anything that's being written in our Bibles are the publishers. 
Yeah. In some recent versions of the King James Bible, it has been, the wording has been altered slightly. The whole thing about not pouring new wine into old wineskins and all that. Yeah, they've changed it. They've changed wineskins to bottles. When you realise how wine was made back in those days, it makes absolutely no sense to call them bottles. And yeah, I don't like that. But to say that Satan has the power to physically change the print in our Bibles, what planet are you on? No. Start trusting the Almighty and believe what he says in his Bibles. The biggest problem on this is that not just people are freaking out and some of the people I've seen who have put up these videos, you know, you see them in their videos and they look terrified. They do look messed up. Really messed up. And the biggest problem with these videos and the people who are putting them up is that you are causing weaker brothers and sisters to stumble. People who are younger or weaker in their faith, like you get a new convert who's just starting out and he sees a video like this on YouTube, he's going to start to mistrust, distrust his Bible. He's going to question the word of God. It's a psyop, folks. This whole thing is a deception from the pit of hell to cause people like you to lose faith in the word of God. Satan knows that the word of God is the only weapon we have against him. His biggest weapon at the moment is stopping people from believing what God says. Don't get, don't, don't fall for the deception, folks. It is, it's a deception. And I'll tell you why it's a deception. Because I've experienced it. A few months ago, when I first came upon this whole thing about Satan changing the words in our Bibles, I was going through a hard time with my faith. I was struggling. And I'll tell you what, it knocked me flat. I was in such a state I had to phone up a brother and pray for me over the phone. I was altering the wording in my Bibles. I was going absolutely nuts. And I've been, I've been a believer for 34 years. Which, <laughs> and it got me. So all you people who are putting out videos like this, Be concerned about what it's doing to you, but be more concerned about the people that you're affecting. You are causing people to stumble. And remember what Yeshua, Jesus, said about people who cause little ones to stumble. He said it on the, on the final day, on the day of judgment, it will be better for them now to have had a millstone tied round their necks and thrown into the sea. One day you're going to have to stand before the Almighty and account for all these foolish words. So, stop this foolishness. Stop giving Satan credibility and power that he doesn't have. And start believing the Word of God. Okay, go home. Read your Bibles, <laughs> to quote Zachary Bauer. Shalom. <laughs>